guys. They're delivering. This is the um, Village Project. Kyle delivering to Midtown. So come on in, you guys. Thanks, Jerome. on it and I love keeping the skin on because of the nutrients. Um, I scrub the outside with my nice brush. I get to check it to see if there's any molds or you know. So the zucchini we got last week you can see it's kind of gnarly a little bit. I could have wrapped it in a if I would have wrapped it in a napkin and kept it moist, I think we wouldn't have that. And here's the other one. This one is better. But all I'll do is cut off part of the skin that is already kind of old. So let's do that. I'll start with this one. This one looks like... Now the zucchini and the broccoli are going to roast quicker. Um, so, so you don't beat yourself up if you can't do it right away. Everything that I'm saying to you is ideal. And you see that you can still save it. Just put it in the refrigerator and then you can pull it out when you're, when you're actually ready to cook, spend some time cooking. Right? So I think that's pretty good. Actually, I just see a little bit on this one. Because if you don't do this, the part that's older, it will be bitter. Part of the skin that I'm taking off, I just want to make sure it's not bitter. But I want to keep as much as I can because like I said, the nutrients one thing you can find out that I learned about vegetables, the brighter the color, the heavier the nutrients, okay? So the fact that the skin on the zucchini is the darkest, that's where all the nutrition is, right? I'm going to do these pretty big because I'm roasting them with the, um, with the broccoli. don't roast um, um, broccoli I steam it all the time but I think because um, this looked like it needed to be cooked right away that I'll just roast it with everything else and I think if I leave it like that it should be fine now I'm going to put that on a cookie sheet. And I'm also going to add the zucchini we got last week. It might not look great, but at least we're not throwing it away or putting it in compost. And they're going to taste really sweet and good. Watch, 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 y'all. We can do this. Watch. This is really easy, y'all. I like doing easy. You just have to set time aside to do it. You know what I mean? Wash them. Okay, what are we going to do here? Kosher sea salt. Um, I'm not going to put any pepper. <laughs> um, what else do I need to add to this? Um, did I have a few pieces of onion? No. Um, what else should I put on this? 
Maybe a little, a few herbs. Okay. Let's just put a little bit of um, rosemary. Oh, I know what I can add. I'll add a little bit of smoky paprika. It for color and a little bit of flavor is the smoked paprika. All right. A little bit of olive oil. I have a couple more zucchini here that I'm going to add to it and then this goes into a 350 degree oven. I cut off a couple of pieces but I'm also going to do something a little different here. I will do my of course smoked paprika, um, salt, and then pepper flakes. <laughs> Yeah, I love pepper flakes. I just do. I just do, do, do. And now you can add olive oil, but I am fortunate that I know so many chefs. And um, I have imported truffle oil, um, which is like a treasure to me. So thank you, Peggy. This is from, uh, um, what is it, Kai um, Gourmet. So thank you for that. So we're going to just gingerly, and those who don't know what truffles are, they're kind of a musty, they're a, they're a mushroom, kind of. <laughs> they're in the mushroom fungi family, but they have this great, musty, great taste and flavor and smell that I love. So this is like gold. But you just use olive oil. This is olive oil also, but it is infused with white truffle. All right, and put the uh, corn on, right? So I'll cut off that bad part. Come on, come on. So I've added the um, other zucchini, as you see, and then I've also added the corn. Let's see if you can see the corn. I've also added the corn. And so I think what I'm going to do is... Um, there, that's a better look. I'm going to add to the corn only the chili lime. I love this. A little bit of heat. I was going to do chipotle, but I like this better. It's a little milder. So I'll just put that over the corn. A lot. <laughs> I like a lot. Um, okay. And then now we're going to take it 350 degree oven. Um all this away compost <laughs> and um, away we go it just takes a few minutes all right okay 350 degree oven I preheat it and now we're gonna add the zucchini the broccoli and the corn and so here we go oh and I like putting it on the last rack because I like to get it really caramelized so hopefully the oven will close, but there we go, y'all. Set it and forget it. Woohoo! Midtown, we can do this. Yummy! All right. And there we have our roasted corn, our broccoli, and our zucchini. So I will just uh, adhere, y'all. It, it smells so good when it was roasting. Mmm. Mmm. Looks so good. Now, if you like your zucchini a little crisper, of course you take it out early. So I would normally probably have taken this out earlier, but I was busy um, jamming to uh, <laughs> um, club quarantine with D nice and um, so kind of left it in unattended a little longer than I normally do but it's okay because it's still delicious and fresh for the whole family y'all see we can do this right don't get overwhelmed when we get a lot of food go on and take the time to prepare it and literally zucchini freezes so well you could thaw it out make a soup um, 
so many things are just eating. Okay, y'all. The town. We can do this. We can do this. Out on our beautiful sunny deck. What a beautiful day today, y'all. At Midtown. Mmm. Yummy, yummy in the tummy, tummy. Okay, we can do this. Broccoli. All of this was in our bag. Zucchini from last week. Um, corn from yesterday. Roasted with chili. Really good, y'all. Really good. All right. Mm -hmm.